What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I want to give you a first look at something. This is the Auto Fireman by Vannon. Uh, it took me a while to get this because I don't know that uh, it's easy to find these here. But uh, as I unbox it here, I'll tell you a little bit about it and what intrigues me about it is that it is basically a fire extinguisher system that you mount under the hood of your car. Looks like you can put them on the strut towers or something like that. And when it detects fire, it's going to spray uh, in anti-flame, uh, I don't know if it's, uh, I assume it's some sort of powder or liquid or carbon dioxide or something like that. Uh, but here it is, it comes with these two modules. The reason I was intrigued by this is because I used to work on cars a lot and, oh, I guess I take this whole thing out. Um, and one of the things that, you know, I remember doing is uh, took a took a BMW and it didn't have a turbo, so we used a turbo off of a Mustang, or actually a supercharger off of a Mustang and uh, modified it and created, um, you know, custom tubing and then actually had to put in like a, high pressure fuel regulator, you know, variable regulator and bigger injectors and remap the whole thing. And I always felt like it took forever to tune everything. And we were always running on the ragged edge of breaking something or uh, lighting something on fire or blowing up another motor or whatever it might be. And so I always kept a fire extinguisher in the car, cool looking one, like chrome fire extinguisher, to put out any uh, fires that might, uh, might come on and surprise me. Uh, this would have been a perfect thing to have under the hood because it would have probably taken care of fires quicker than I could. You know, it's particularly when if you're going to have a fire or when you have a fire under the hood of your car, it's not always that obvious. Sometimes you'll see smoke, you might think it's cool and steam or something like that. Uh, and then by the time you get your fire extinguisher, probably in the trunk of your car, maybe under the seat, and get the hood popped, um, you know, you got to unlatch it yourself and open it up and and, and that's uh, Assuming that you can even do it because at that point if you're seeing flames pour outside It's probably pretty big and the hood and the latch might just not be accessible to you because of the flame So it's probably best to have something mounted under there. That's where the auto fireman comes in So I looks like these are oh geez. Oh, okay, it's magnets. Holy smokes. All right some really powerful freaking magnets on here and looks like they're just on here so you can kind of move them around uh, we also have some like very reflective iridescent um, decals by auto fireman probably should go this way then we also have some cables that come off the end here and looks like this is what triggers it or provides power to it because it looks like we have a couple of power cords so I'm assuming that this gets wired into your fuse box or something like that and then I'm assuming that they, these get magnetized to your strut mounts and then it looks like you have some holes here where uh, whatever retardant that you're using would kind of burst from here and, and blow out. Now I want to do a couple things and I don't know that we're going to be able to do them really soon but I actually want to test this thing and see if they go off. That was kind of my ultimate goal here. Um, I'm not too worried about car fires in my car at the moment, but especially if you're driving an older car, a modified car, these could be really top priorities for you to address. Uh, it looks like we also get some kind of double-sided sticky pads, so not entirely sure what that's for, but uh, it is what it is. So what I'd love to do is just kind of get this wired up, maybe to a battery or something like that, hit it with some flame, maybe some WD-40 and a lighter and see if we can fire these things off. But I just wanted to give you a first look at them first, uh, just because in case you're looking for something like this, at least you know they exist and this is what they look like. They are not that big. They're kind of the size, this portion is the size of like a Keurig K cup. And then the, the, the whole flange, the, the brim of it here is a little bit larger, kind of the, I don't know, size of a bottom of a cup or something like that. So, um, Pretty, pretty interesting, pretty innovative. I'm surprised something like this, or I have never come across something like this before, but you know, for the import tuner scene and car customizer or garage mechanic, you may want this. I will put a link to where I've got these uh, in the description, so if you wanna pick them up, do so, but we'll do a full review of these as soon as I can figure out how to do it. Peter Pound Panned out.